This is Phil Wooler with Purdue Extension. And today is the first day of fall, and we are looking at our tree right here. And uh, we're starting to see some leaves. So one thing, you know, in the fall, the leaves change color and, and fall off. But another thing, it could be a sign of drought stress. So th that will cause the trees to leave, lose their leaves early. They won't, they'll, they won't be using as much water if they lose those leaves. So it's a, a strategy to, to help them survive. And going into fall, we don't want our trees to kind of go into dormancy um, under stress. So if your tree, a lot of times an established tree won't need a lot of water, even in dry times, but uh, we're, we're pretty dry here. We're in, we're in moderate drought and it could get worse. Um, not a whole lot of rain in the forecast. So um, to help these trees go into dormancy, um, it might be a good idea to give some water. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, um, not just use a watering can. Uh, these trees are gonna need lots of water. So typically, um, the rule of thumb is five gallons for, and then a five gallons for every inch of diameter. So um, this is about three inches diameter. So uh, you get five gallons plus three times five, 15, so 20 gallons. That's a lot of, a lot of uh, water. So a good strategy is to, you know, run a hose out here and, and just, uh, and, uh, and let it go at a low rate. We don't want it blasting out or else we will, the water will run off and we want it to soak in. So here we are, I've got the hose running. And as you can see here, it's running not, not too fast. We don't want it to, to, uh, to blast out the water and have it run away. We want it to go slow and slowly soak in. So I'm not gonna, we can approximate how much time it's gonna take to get us about 30 gallons and um, but we might, and if it's on our sandy soil, we'd be okay to let it go a little, little bit longer here. So the strategy is we're going to take, let it run for a while, uh, probably maybe about 20, 20, 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna move it to the other side of the tree and let it soak in over there. Now the tree's roots will spread out fairly far, so typically we'll say one and a half times the height of the tree or more. Um, but uh, we're gonna try and uh, uh, concentrate within the drip line. So just under the, the crown of the tree is where we're gonna concentrate and see if we can get some water into the soil there to help, help the tree um, go into dormancy strong and not stress so it can have good growth in the spring. So if you have any questions about uh, tree care or getting your trees ready for for the fall and winter you can leave some questions in the comments below or reach out to me by email or phone at the office